Hello lovelies. Welcome back to our channel Air Varieties. Yes, today I'm just going to show you what to do if you have itching problems. There are many people after bathing their skin itches them. When they walk in the rain, that's the problem. Same itching, 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 itching. Is there any solution? Yes, there is, but it is organic. So you can see me having one noni in my hand, very ripe noni, and that is the noni plant over there. Yes, so I'm gonna use noni in making a soap for these ones. Now, I have a herb also in, in here that I'm going to use. It's called the creeping, creeping sorrel. Creeping sorrel. You can call it Indian sorrel. Yes, this is the main secret for the itching what? problem. It's the Indian sorrel or creeping sorrel. It's creeps, so when you look, it moves down. Hey, I've seen one snail. <laughs> so the snails also enjoy this creeping sorrel. So I'll need a whole lot to prepare soap for someone who is having what? Itching problem. If she walks in the rain, the skin itches her. If she baths, whether cold or hot or warm water, it so itches. So I'm going to use this thing to help solve her problem. And if you have this around, anytime you feel itches or you are even going to your garden, you know poison ivy, just take a little of this wash it well and then squeeze out the liquid into your hand using your hand and rub it all over your body and the itches will go all tender leaves to solve the problem welcome back now i have my grated uh, soaps here many colors i've used the carbolic soap any uh, bar soap of your choice you can use it so i have three different types because i love colors so that's it and i have my coconut oil my palm oil red oil seller's world this is your red oil <laughs> then i have my noni one and my indian sorrel then I have very tender leaves of popo. I have very tender leaves of popo. So these are the things I'm going to use. And I have what that all here too. So let's get started. All you need to do is we are going to cut this into pieces so that we can be able to blend it well. You cut it. And we're going to blend it with a little water. Yes. And where can we find the Indian sorrel? It's everywhere. On the lanes, in the gardens, everywhere. Just look out. Watch out for it. And, uh, of course, there is a yellow flowering on top and then the fruits snakes likes it fruits they feed on it fruits so that is it so we are pouring all this thing into a blender i'm pouring all this into the blender i'll need just a little water and my red oil 
I need about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight teaspoonfuls of it. Then my red oil. One, select two, three, select and four. Yes. At Celeste World. Then I'm going to blend it together. So this is my blended ingredients together. I'll pour everything. So using your hand, you mix everything. <laughs> and I'll use two of these. Yes, my hands. Don't mind me. That's why I'm holding it like that. <laughs> and I'll mix it well. Now, as this is helping you get rid of, solve your itching problem, it also gives you a glowing skin yes so if it's not for itching you can still use it as a glowing soap so in africa this is what we have spawn dish so i'm gonna put everything inside Don't worry, it's not going to decay or anything. By tomorrow, it will harden. And then you can start using it. This is what we've gotten. Yes. How does it look? <laughs> this is the Indian sorrow or creeping sorrow. Yes, the soap. Yes, I use two bar, uh, three bars of soap. So any soap of your choice, you can use it. Just go the way I did it. And then you have a very nice soap for your skin problems, rashes and itching. So, so we come your way. See you in our next video.